Hey everybody. Um, just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys. Uh, I haven't done a shop update in a little while, so here's a quick one. I'm um, just doing it from the cell phone, so it's going to be quick. It goes on Instagram. Um, make sure you're following us. Subscribing to our YouTube channel uh, at DMA Motorsports. You can search it on YouTube, find us. Um, this week, I will be posting probably two total videos on doing front end geometry. Um, just some basic setup stuff, um, nothing nothing crazy, nothing wild, just kind of a refresher course on doing some front-end geometry stuff, something simple, um, toe, caster, camber, that stuff, straight to the point, no, um, no trick stuff that you need to try and worry about, so be one of the things we'll do. Um, we'll do it using this cart here. This is the Winter Quest Racing Cart. Um, we're going to do it based on, we're going to use his front-end pieces to do it and I'll have a camera hopefully be able to have a camera sitting right about like this for you guys so you can kind of see what I'm doing um, and then I'm going to do it on one of these older velocity carts um, I'm going to do a demonstration on one of them um, both that one and this one here a little bit older ones um, so we'll be able to kind of do a quick demonstration on that um, the other cart that I could do it on as well would be the the house racing recon um, but that one is not going to be raced for a little while um, it actually could potentially be sold so if uh, if you guys are looking I will have new chassis coming in if you're looking for next year or the end of this year you want to end on a bang um, we got tires wheels chassis everything's on its way we'll have 17s and then we're gonna kind of hold off might order one more 17 of each and then we're gonna order up some 18s next year that way we're ready to go for you guys um, otherwise, we had our we did some motor work tonight. Got a new 206 put together for a racer, um, and we've been working tires. Um, these tires here are going to be fresh, ready to go for Monday for some junior racers. And uh, I really appreciate the you guys putting your trust in me, doing the best I can. I'm doing everything that I can to test, make sure I'm getting some good, valuable information to you as well as putting out some good valuable product, making sure I'm working with the best products on the market right now. And I honestly feel like that I am. So as far as the cart shop goes, I think we're at a point where we can successfully say that we are providing you with the best that we possibly can. If you find something that we've provided you that has failed, that has done something wrong, you need to let us know because if it failed over time or it failed right away, I'd like to know so I can make sure I can correct it and get you better parts and make sure I'm getting that garbage out of my out of my supply so nobody else has to get it and get some new better stuff on hand if I need to so um, otherwise that's kind of what we're working with um, like I say watch get on subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com search DMA Motorsports you'll see our logo I'll post it at the end of this here it's a little yellow red logo find that logo that's the channel you subscribe to you can even if you don't want to see a whole bunch of updates from me you can turn the little bell updates off and just be a subscriber and then every once in a while it'll pop up on your on your feed if you're browsing through YouTube it'll pop up and say hey you're subscribed to this um, you're subscribed to DMA Motorsports this is what they've done recently so you don't have to get a whole bunch of email notifications and all that stuff for me if you don't want to um, if you do great I'm glad I have followers out there that want to do that um, otherwise, I really, really appreciate everybody that's following. It is really humbling to know that there's people out there that are getting value out of what I'm putting up. Um, even just me here talking to a camera, telling you guys about what we're doing. Um, I've heard a lot of good feedback about it. I've heard a lot of bad feedback, and I'm trying to cut the bad stuff in and make sure I take that into account and try and make the video as best as I can for you. Um, but otherwise, the Winter Quest Racing Cart... The two velocities, that's what we're going to do setup time on. Tires, i got to finish rolling those, or finish wiping those tonight, and then they're going to have their round in them for the night. Um, yeah, the shop looks like a bomb went off in it, but hey, I'm trying to pick through, some sink, th pick through some things, and we're getting ready to move, so we're going to be throwing, be watching our page, we're going to be throwing a lot of stuff up for sale, for dirt cheap, that we don't want to take, what, take with us when we move. So watch for that stuff. I mean, it could be anything from tooling to just some random, you know, we got some blocks laying here that we want to get rid of. We got some flathead stuff here. If anybody wants to jump on some flathead stuff, 
get a hold of me. I'd love to move the four flatheads I've got laying here. Get them out of my hair so I don't have to move them. Um, so yeah, if you watch for that, use tires over on the rack. Use tires in the trailer, all of which will be going up for sale if they're any good. I'm not going to sell you a bunch of garbage. Um, but if it's there's any life left in them, anything that we can get out of them for somebody who's just getting into karting, wants to dabble in it, I'll get you set up with that. Um, we'll have some used clutches, all that good stuff. So I'm going to make sure everything's all in good shape. I'm not going to sell you any garbage. None of it's going to be cobbled together junk. It's going to be worth your while to try it. Um, otherwise, happy Monday, everybody. Hope you have a good week.